Okay, now we want to show you perhaps the coolest accessory for the GX600, GX1000. It's our float switch. It's an electronic float switch. It's really easy to install. You plug the float switch into the same power supply as the GX pump, and then you plug the pump piggybacked into the float switch. Just like that, you're done. The float switch gets installed in your reservoir on a piece of PVC pipe or any vertical mounting surface. What you want to do is find the level of your reservoir that you want filled and give enough play for the float switch to reach the top, the level. You can even come down a few inches, be safe. So if I want my water level here, my float switch has to turn over at that level. And you can let more play out to let it go deeper. You need at least four inches of free play on this float switch. So don't, don't zip tie it up here. That's not going to work properly. You need at least four inches. We're going to give five right now. We're going to zip tie it up. Hose clamps are, work great as well, although unless they're stainless steel, they can rust. My pump switch has about 15 inches of free travel. That means my pump's going to come on when the switch is down, and as the water level fills up, my pump's going to go off. Let's see how it works in action. Our reservoir is filling up, and as it fills up, the float switch rises, and my pump safely cuts off. When I transfer my water to my reservoirs, my pump will kick back on. So one thing you're going to notice is if you install a GX pump, that the big switch is not going to shut your RO completely off. It's not going to trip your auto shutoff valve. This is just for fast filling of your reservoir. If you're using a float switch before you bought the GX pump, you can maintain, you can still use your float switch. You need to install this float switch a little higher in the reservoir. And we'll show you how this works. When you need to fill your reservoir fast, the pump switch will engage. And now I'm flowing about 1,800 gallons a day, 2,000 gallons a day. You don't want this float switch to engage while that's still running. You'll blow out the auto shutoff valve. The auto shutoff valve can't take the rising pressure, which will go well over 200 PSI. So as your reservoir fills, it's going to kick off. And then this float valve mounted just a little higher will turn your, pump, your auto shutoff valve off. 